Hey, I'm Jenna Rose, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Jenna Rose. How are you? Hi, I'm so good. How are you? I'm great. It's so great to be talking to you. You're like so amazing. You're so talented. You're so gorgeous. So I'm yeah. so happy to be talking to you. Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> no problem. Um, so you took vocal lessons from a young age. So was music like your number one thing always? Yeah, I mean, I was a normal kid, started out just trying all the sports. I was in gymnastics and then I got into singing lessons by chance because my friend at the time was just like, hey, I want to do voice lessons, but I don't want to do them by myself. Do you want to come with me? And I'm like, sure, I guess. And I went with her. I loved it and we had our first performance coming up and she had to drop out last minute so it was just me and I was nine years old. It was at the House of Blues in Dallas and I sang a Don Henley song, Boys of Summer, by myself and I got on the stage and I just loved every moment of it and that's when I knew I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. Oh my god, amazing. And are you still friends with that girl now or no? Yes, we still talk. Yeah, it's so funny. I like, I thank her for what she did for me. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cool. So I went digging and I found the title of your first ever song, Summertime Sweetheart. Oh my god. <laughs> so like, so have you ever gotten to like re-record it for fun? My parents want me to so bad, trust me. They were moving and so they found the old, like the very first page that I wrote it on, like the actual yeah. book that I wrote it in and they sent it to me and I'm like that is so funny but I would have to work on it a lot to re-record it I mean as you can tell by the title you can probably <laughs> assume what kind of song it was do you remember like a lyric from the song uh, it was um like will you be my summertime sweetheart like just I think it was about like my neighbor oh my that God. I liked and I'm like it was so funny I feel like everyone had like a neighborhood crush at one point. Right? It's so true. <laughs> Mine sadly moved away, but it's okay. <laughs> we're, we're thriving. Hey, you will, you'll be just fine. <laughs> You've released music in the past, even like in your early teen years, uh, which is nowhere to be found online anymore. So yes. um, do you feel as if like you removed those because your sound is so different now? Yeah, I feel like growing up, everyone's changing normally, even not in music. When you're um, a kid and then a preteen and then a teen, you change so much yourself and then you add music to it and releases that you, obviously I was, I loved the songs at the time and I toured with some of them and I have so much love for them. I still do. I think with the new stuff, it's a branding thing that we're just really excited to go full force with this. Amazing, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you. Touring, you've opened for like artists like Ali and AJ, like Echo Smith, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Especially now with like concerts aren't a thing anymore, what do you miss most about performing live? Gosh, I miss the experience of it. I mean, the adrenaline rush is so cool, and just meeting people every night, performing, doing what I love, it's so fulfilling. Yeah, definitely. And do you remember what your last concert was? My last concert, I did um, a show at iHeartRadio in New York at, during Fashion Week. I went there for Fashion Week. Yeah. And then that was in February of 2020. So that was my last one. So much fun. I miss it. Me too. <laughs> yeah. And talk to me about Checkmate because that's your next release. So how are you feeling about that? Are you like nervous right now? I have so much ex excitement. Like, honestly, I'm so excited for everyone to hear it. I worked really hard on it. And the song and video, they mean a lot to me. And the song itself is was inspired by Queen's Gambit, which is which was huge during COVID, honestly, like, obviously. And yeah, I mean, it's chess is one of the only games where men and women are on the exact same playing field. And I thought that was so cool, like the girl power in it and in that show. And I was like, how could I incorporate this into a song? And that's how Checkmate came about. And the video reflects that as well. And so I'm so, so excited. 
Me too. I can't wait for it to be released. Yeah, so thank you. no problem. Was it made during this like COVID times we're in right now? Yes, it was. I wrote it with a writer named Nick Furlong and it was produced by Luke and Simon of the production duo Chapters. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was inspired by Queen's Gambit. So yes, it was written in um, during this COVID time, which is always a different experience, but yeah. Your fashion taste is amazing. Thanks. So have you always been like an expert in like fashion? <laughs> it's so funny because my mom always says that when I was younger, I would wear summer clothes in the winter and winter clothes in the summer. Wow. I just always had a way that I wanted to do it and I was going to do it. No one was going to tell me otherwise. And so, yes, I've always had a strong sense of style. It may not have always been the best sense, but it was a strong one. And now I, I just love it. I feel like fashion and music go hand in hand. It's like writing a song for me. I just, I think the two are very similar and I love mixing like vintage pieces with designer. And I, as I said, I went to New York Fashion Week, which was so fun. Do you have any like favorite fashion trends at the moment? Oh, I love the 2000s style coming back. I'm yeah. so here for that. Not it's not everyone loves that, but I love it. And my mom found some old stuff in her closet that oh, you're amazing. Oh, I love it. So <laughs> definitely 2000s. Same. I love it. So what can we expect next after Checkmate? Yeah, I mean, I write pretty much every day on my piano and guitar. And I've been in the studio so much. I'm vaccinated now. So now I'm just in the studio all the time. And so I have lots of new music coming out. We have a single after Checkmate. And then we have an EP. Oh my god, yay. Yeah. It's going to be so great. <laughs> Thank you. And last question. Do you have any favorite artists at the moment that you want to share? Oh, I'm, I'm an audiophile, so I love all music. I literally listen to everything. But I'm super into the 80s new wave. So I listen to a lot of old school stuff. I love Depeche Mode, Duran Duran, Echo and the Bunny Man, Blondie. I mean, I can go on and on, but definitely love the 80s. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. It was so much fun talking to you. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. You too.